Greetings, YouTubers. Hello, and welcome to another video review for uh, that I'm doing tonight. Uh, got as you if you've watched my last couple of reviews, I've been in a progressive rock mood again. Huge progressive rock fan. Have uh, what you would call an obsession with it. Uh, and uh, been pulling out the Van der Graaff generator again. And I'm doing a review for a DVD. I don't do enough DVD reviews, so I'm doing another DVD review. And uh, a couple months ago, I believe, I actually did an unpackaging uh, video when I got this particular DVD in the mail. And I just watched it again because I wanted to do a thorough review. So tonight, we're going to do... A review for this DVD right here. This is Van de Graaff Generators Live at the Paradiso uh, in Amsterdam, Holland. This is on uh, April 7th. No, I'm sorry. April 14th, <laughs> 2007. Yeah, the, the dates are all mixed up there, so it's confusing. It's actually April 7th, 2000. Uh, I'm sorry, April. 14, 2007, so, yeah, I'm not used to them being in that order, so, so this is April 14, 2007, they played at the Paradiso in Amsterdam, Holland, and I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's part of the set list, well, that is the set list, alright, cool, alright, so let's get on with the review, this uh, was re this was uh, filmed uh, bef before they actually had put out Trisector. Um, actually, before they recorded it. So there's a couple of couple of Trisector songs on this DVD that um, uh, are brand new to the audience. So this came out a year before Trisector. So it goes on, starts off with Lemmings. Uh, it starts off with Lemmings. Lemmings is the first song on the. I'll just hold it so I can see the set list. Uh, very, very powerful. Very powerful. It's uh, got. Uh, starts off with uh, what looks to be Peter Hamill trying to tune his guitar, and then Guy Evans and Hugh Banton go into a jazz uh, type improvisation, and then they go right into Lemmings. They just keep playing, they don't stop. They play Lemmings, the Lemmings song, and it opens up the piece very, very, very energetically. It's a great, great opener to the show. Uh, one thing I should mention um, is that it's just a three-piece. It's just uh, Peter Hamill, Guy Evans, and Hugh Banton, and of course David Jackson's not there. This is, uh, I believe, the first tour without him, uh, so they were trying it. So this is their first tour as a three-piece. This was like the sixth or seventh show on the tour over in uh, where they're well, they're playing in Holland on this show. So there goes Lemmings as the first song. A Place to Survive is the second one. Um, this one's really good as well. This one's very very energetic. I really like this one. Um, uh, the really cool thing about this DVD is there's good uh, good light shows good light, good camera angles, just close-ups of the band's equipment. Guy Evans has about eight cymbals on his drum set. He's got a really nice set. And if you watch this DVD, you'll see why he's my, my number three favorite drummer. Um, but yeah, it's, it's uh, this is, this, I mean, the, the show is, is just perfectly great. Lifetime is them uh, debuting a new song, which was on Trisector, Mellow Piece, Kind of quiet in places, kind of somber. It's really great. Really like it. So Hamill's on the guitar for this one as well. But the first three songs he plays guitar, and he has two two guitars on stage that he plays. And then we go into in the back room. Uh, Peter puts his guitar down and goes to the keyboard. And in the back room is it's a very progressive piece. Different elements. And it gets energetic, it gets soft, it gets quiet, it gets fierce, it's very good. The energy level is great with these guys. Um, 
And without even stopping, before you know it, they go right into every bloody emperor. And uh, Peter is just singing the song with complete emotion, amazing emotion. Um, you know, just totally feeling these words. And these guys, they if you watch this DVD, you can tell they're really having a blast. They look like they're they're just having a lot of fun in this in this DVD. It's a great energetic performance. Um, they go into another new one, All That Before, which was later put on Tri-Sector, and this one, this one's just killer. This is a killer performance of it. Uh, it's great to hear it, you know, pre the album, I think. It's very interesting to hear it, like, before the album comes out. A fresh start, you know, a fresh Van de Graaff generator music, um, in a live setting. Um. All that before is just really, it's very energetic, a lot of good musicianship in that, lots of great drumming from Guy Evans, you know, all over the place a little bit. I mean, in a good way, though, in a very good way. Then we go to Gog, actually one of uh, Peter Hamill's solo songs. They do that, took a stab at Gog. Um, and this one's, this one's really, this one's really great as well. I mean, there's really not a dull moment on this DVD. I mean, I, I mean, I'm kind of at a loss for words because it's just this is a great, great concert. This is an amazing concert. Uh, Mergley's three, everybody's favorite. Um, you know, Mergley's three just just uh, got Hamill on the guitar, and I mean the you know the the, the organ playing from Hugh Banton. He's got the organs. He's doing the bass work with his with his foot on the bass pedals. Guy Evans doing some really great stuff on the drums. I mean, Mergley 3 is great. They've got that reggae part in the middle. And then what's cool is we go right after that into the Sleepwalkers. Now, the Sleepwalkers is a God Bluff song. And as you might have seen my previous review for God Bluff, I did do a, a review for the God Bluff DVD, uh, which is the album in its entirety, all four songs. And it's good to hear uh, some God Bluff songs live, like, what two three decades later whatever it was uh in this live setting you hear like an updated version of them live and sleepwalkers is just great you know Peter hamill gets takes gets out from behind the or takes his guitar off he's playing guitar on mergley's the third the songwriters guild and um just starts singing and and just him at the mic organ and guy are doing their thing and it's great they do that little circus type thing and then eventually he'll go to the piano and play and man it's got that great ending that amazing amazing ending and then we go into Manerd. Um this is intense this whole DVD gets pretty intense I mean this is great these guys have a really amazing energy level for being in their like early to mid 60s however old they are and it's just it's just they just are totally on fire. I mean, they tear this place up. Uh, the Paradiso is a really cool venue. There's like balcony settings. I mean, the place looks packed. The place looks like the, that the show was completely sold out. Um, standing room only, I think. I don't think there was any seating. And it's, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, it's got a nice, uh, like uh, behind them, uh, like when they're playing, it's got a nice little. Um, Thing, kind of, it looks kind of like a balcony type thing, but not really a balcony, but just a nice structure that's that's built behind them when they play, which is part part of the uh, Paradiso structure. So I like the I like, I do like the way the venue looks. I think it's a cool looking venue. I had never seen the Paradiso before, but I had heard of it. It's a pretty famous venue in Holland. Um, so after Man Manurg, they play, and then they all get up from their instruments. You know, say goodbye to the audience, leave the stage. The audience is just completely, you know, very enthusiastic. The audience is great. They're totally loving loving the show. You can tell me there's some amazing Van Graaff generator fans that were taped in this show. And they're they're begging for an encore. They're they're, you know, plotting, they're you know, they're they're doing the you know, whatever you call that. And they come back out. Do another Godless song, Scorched Earth, and this just sounds amazing. Um, this this is uh, you know to, to me this is just just as good as a Godless live DVD. Now, some of the, like I said, some of the Van de Graaff Generator fans might 
not like this too much because of the fact David Jackson's out there. So there is no sex. But um, I happen to really love this CVG. I think it's great. I mean, the camera angles are great. The quality is crisp. Not decent. I mean, not decent. Job. Amazing. Amazing picture quality. Amazing sound quality. Very crisp, crystal clear picture. <laughs> nice close ups of the instruments. You get to see Hugh Banton's feet, what he's doing with the pedals. A guy having set up is they have a close up of him with a bass drum pedal on the bass drum. Uh, you see Peter's piano, his guitars. I mean, you see it's great, and you get to see what the venue looks like. It's really great, and this 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 performance. This is one of the greatest concert DVDs I've ever owned. This is a killer, killer, killer DVD. Um, if you have seen the God Bluff DVD, you really need to, you know, go forward. Uh, quite a few years and get this and see what they were like in 2007 this was this is amazing and um, I got this on as you as I said I got this on Amazon I did a, a, a video of me unpackaging this with Hawkwinds in your area I got them both on the same day um, so yeah it's, it's, as, as I as I ranted and raved and and praised this amazing concert DVD it's time to give this a grade a plus. This might be my favorite DVD I own. It's so good. I'm, I'm I mean, I and, and you know, God Bluff was good too, but it's, it's, I'd say every bit as good as this DVD. You know, it's, it's different. They were younger back then. They had David Jackson back then, and they're playing one album. Well, here you get to hear them playing various albums, some new stuff, some great new songs with Lifetime. And all that before. Great, great songs from Trisector. Trisector was an awesome album. Um, and you know, if you if you have this, get this. I mean, these are both sterile DVDs. These are both amazing DVDs. A plus for both of them. If you haven't seen my review for this one yet, please go watch that. Um, and uh, I probably jumped ahead, so you already got to know I did a good review on this one. But this one's a great DVD. If you have this. Get this. These are both essential. If you are a huge Van de Graaff Generator fan and you like the live Van de Graaff Generator, hearing them in a live setting, you can see them in a live setting. These are great, great DVDs, great investments. I've had this forever. I got this about two months ago, and I, I love both of these. Um, yeah, this it's hard. I mean, this one I might like a little bit better than this one just because of the fact it's longer and it's various songs. I don't know. It's, I, I don't. And maybe I like them equally. I don't know. But these are great, great DVDs. So definitely pick up this one and this one. Uh, you might have to find these at Amazon. If Band of is hard to find in, in where you live. Um, because when I started buying their stuff, I got all their stuff on Amazon because I couldn't find any of their stuff at my own hometown in Bryan. I live in Austin now, and I can find Band of Graff Generator no problem. But still, this this is one I got on Amazon because I've never seen this in a store. So again, well, I don't like talk your ear off. I'm just gonna say, Live at the Paradiso by Van de Graff Generator is an A plus. This is killer. This is an amazing concert. Not a dull moment. No complaints. One of the best best DVDs ever. And one thing I forgot to mention, this also contains a bonus interview with Peter Hamill. And he talks about uh, a little about how, you know, the reunion basically is what he's talking about with uh, the guy who interviews him. He's talking about uh, the departure of, of um, David Jackson, which I still, he doesn't really say why he left, and I, I still haven't figured out exactly why David Jackson quit the band, but he talks a little bit about that he wasn't capable of being in the band and they decided to continue and it just talks about the reunion about you know how they do their music now and how they go about doing things um, and also just how much fun they're having how how much they love you know doing it again so there you go there's my review for Van de Graaff Generator's Live Paradiso DVD pick it up buy it you might be able to preview it on YouTube. This actually, before it was released, it was released in 2009 on DVD, but it was originally shot as a uh, webcast video, which I believe I saw part of. And uh, two years later, they released the DVD. 
And there's also a CD version of it too, so you can get the audio of this. All right, thanks for watching my Van de Graaff generator review. I hope to be doing quite a bit more. I've been listening to a lot of Van de Graaff generator lately. I've been listening to some, you know, excited Gong. You know, Gong's got a brand new album out. I hope to get at the end of this week. I hope to pick up the brand new Gong album. It's called ICU. Uh, might do a review for that. Um, you know, I've I've heard great things about it. So look look um be on the lookout for maybe a Gong review for ICU. Uh, I've never done a Gong review, but I love them. I'm a huge Gong fan. So you gotta love the bonkers of uh, David Allen. All right, thanks for watching. Good night. Um, I might do a video on Thanksgiving um, just for the heck of it. Uh, Thanksgiving is two days away, three days away. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. I will see you on YouTube with some more reviews. Prog on!